Hi guys, thanks for watching Monocure 3D Pro Tips. In this episode, we're gonna run through the top 10 tips for beginners when 3D printing with resin. Let's start now. Okay, tip number one, choose your new 3D printer wisely. There are heaps of new resin printers coming out in the market every week. Research as much as you can using the internet and communicating with others who have already done the hard yards for you. Tip number two, prepare your work area so it is resin 3D printing ready. So here is a list of what you'll need to start. All right, now to tip number three. Join the community. Try and find a good online forum or a social media group that has the same printer as yours. Set up your printer according to manufacturer's instructions and listen to others who have already paved the way. Personally, I'm a big fan of Facebook groups, but there are heaps of options now. Just sign up and get involved. Tip four. Choose the best resin for your printer. The stock resin that came with your printer should work fine, but it's not necessarily the best for your needs. You may want a flexible resin so your printed parts have a rubbery, bendy feel to them. Our Monocure Rapid and Standard model resin is made with a tough epoxy base. That makes it very hard and has a high dimensional accuracy. This makes it perfect for producing models for rapid prototyping. Tip number five. Remember, keep it simple. Don't get too ambitious to start with. Just print something really simple that doesn't need supports. I recommend you choose one of our 3D calibration models from the link in the description. Make sure you check out my Pro Tips video about this. It's much better to build confidence and hone in your printer settings than it is to be disappointed with failures. Okay, to tip six. Learn how to position your models and get the best adhesion to the build plate. This is very different from FDM printing as most resin models print best between 30 to 45 degrees with lots of dense supports. You can get more detail from my other pro tip video on this. Tip seven, get a good post curing chamber, either homemade or store bought, but a good source of artificial UV light in the 405 nanometer range. Try not to use the sun as it has a very broad spectrum of UV light that can damage the models. Now to tip eight, learn how to best clean up your 3D printed parts using resin away and how to remove the support structures with the smallest amount of damage to the model. Okay, nearly there guys. Tip nine. Once you've dialed in your printer and you have some resin printing experience under your belt, it's a really good idea to learn a 3D design program. I use Fusion 360 from Autodesk. It's a free download and there's lots of online help and YouTube tutorials to get you started. Once you can use this type of program, you're really only limited by your imagination. If you can think it, you can 3D print it. Great, we made it. Tip number 10. Last, but most importantly, have fun and enjoy. It's really satisfying when you design a model using a 3D program or download it from Thingiverse, send it to the 3D printer and have it print just as you would expect. Of course, with success you need a few failures along the way. Remember, it's not a fail if you have learnt something that will make you better next time. Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. But most importantly, remember to keep on 3D printing.